Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian, I'm here today at the Rock Island Auction Company. I'm taking a look at some of the guns that they are selling in their upcoming September of 2016 Premier Auction. And now normally I stay away from stuff with Nazi Party affiliation or connection because frankly it's all pretty distasteful. However, I have one here that's associated specifically with Heinrich Himmler, but not really in a political sense. And this one's actually, I think, kind of interesting. Now, this is a Sauer 38H pistol. This is not really one of the better known German military pistols, but it is actually one of the very common ones. Everyone thinks about Lugers and Walther PPs and P38s, but in actuality, the Sauer 38H was manufactured by the hundreds of thousands and issued to virtually all branches of the German military, police, party, everybody. These things were out there being distributed just like um, all the other 32 caliber small pistols that the German military used. Now this one has a really interesting inscription on it. It's got Heinrich Himmler's signature engraved in it, which is eh, okay, but then it also is inscribed Dem Scharfschützen, which is for sharpshooters, or for the sharpshooters. What makes this interesting is this was actually part of uh, Himmler's attempt to well, sort of build morale and encourage sniping in the German military. So Himmler isn't really a, you know, a military commander, not a general, really. Um, he, of course, ran the, the SS, and towards the end of the war, he was made commander of the reserve army, but not really a tactician, strategic level, actual general. He was a political leader. But one of the things he tried to do was this program to encourage morale and sniping in the army. And so he came up with a series of rewards. Now, in general, the German military had sniper badges that they would award. So if you had 20 confirmed sniper kills, you would get a third class sniper badge, and then for 40, a second class, and for 60, a first class. And there were some other prizes that were sometimes associated with this. And unless you were a complete idiot, you would not wear these patches on your uniform because this is mostly taking place on the Russian front, and if you're a sniper and the Russians capture you and you've got this nice badge on your arm saying that, yeah, you shot 40 Russians, they're not going to treat you well. So nobody ever wore those things, not, not anybody with any brains. Well, this was a similar program that was run directly by Himmler, and the program here was if you made 50 confirmed kills, you would get a special vacation, leave, and you'd also get a watch from Heinrich Himmler. Okay, if you got 100 confirmed kills, then you would get, and it sounds that some of this comes directly from some published letters of Himmler's, but it sounds like you kind of got your choice, uh, a hunting rifle or a really good set of binoculars or one of these Sauer 38H presentation pistols. And in theory, if you got 150 confirmed kills, <laughs> you would get to go on a hunting trip with Heinrich Himmler himself. Okay. Um, I'm not sure that that ever actually happened. Um, there are only like less than 10 of these pistols known to exist today. Three or four of them are still in their original presentation cases, but it's this, to me, it's an interesting look at the German armies and the political leadership's take on sniping. They saw this as, as a valuable tool in the German military arsenal and they wanted to encourage it. So the idea that you get a watch first, and then, well, you can either get binoculars or a pistol. I don't know, it, it's interesting. Um, now, because it's got Himmler's name on it, it is fantastically valuable, because for whatever reason, everything Nazi-associated has become quite desirable. Uh, but to me, really, what's interesting about these guns is the military take on them, and that position of the political leadership interacting with the military in this way. So. There were really quite a lot of extremely successful and effective German snipers on the Eastern Front. And that's really a story that doesn't get told very much uh, here in the U.S. and in, in the Western world so much. In fact, much of the, the fighting on the Eastern Front in World War II is not really well understood or well recognized uh, here in the U.S. It's just kind of alien. Uh, the scale of the war on that front really dwarfs everything that the U.S. was involved in in World War II. So. This is an interesting little take on it. So exactly how many of these pistols were made isn't clear. Uh, it seems that they were all manufactured in one block. They weren't made, it wasn't like, well, oh, he just got his hundred kill, so we'll uh, make up a pistol for him. No, it seems like they made all of them at once, and then they were 
stockpiled somewhere and handed out as uh, as appropriate. Um, they all, all of the known ones fall into a specific very tight serial number range. It's uh, 475,000 and approximately 400. This is 475,396, um, which is the lowest of the, the ones I found documented. And they go up to at least 475,409. So, you know, that's what, 14 of them right there in that span. For all I know, they may have made several times that many, but not more than, certainly not more than 50 of these were made, and probably a lot less than that. So, uh, they're generally unmarked. They just have a, a couple of commercial proofs on them and a J.P. Sauer Sewell marking on the right side of the slide, and then, of course, this uh, Himmler Scharfschutze, Scharfschutze uh, engraving on the left side. If you'd like to have this one yourself, um, and you've got the money to make that happen, uh, check out the link in the description text below. That'll take you to Rock Island's catalog page on it. You can see their pictures. Uh, they have some of the provenance on this. And uh, place a bid online or, uh, I, well, I don't know that I'd place a bid of this magnitude online. I would probably come here in person, check this thing out, and then uh, participate in the auction live. Thanks for watching.